What is going on to Nintendo Nation? Hope you're having an awesome day. And in today's Super Mystery Dungeon video, I just want to warn that some people may find that it does spoil parts of the game, but it's something that we've already known about if you've you know, been following this channel for a couple of months that we knew would come into the game. And I have hesitated making this video, but to be honest, I've already talked about it. Most of us, like 90% of the subscribers or the people who watch this video, will already know that this was going to happen, so... You know, I thought I might as well upload it, but for those who don't want it spoiled, you're welcome to click off the video now, but I can finally confirm that past characters, or, you know, previous characters from the older Mystery Dungeon games are coming back into Super Mystery Dungeon. I don't know how they're going to come back into it, it's most likely connection orbs, I don't know whether we get to visit their towns, you know, like Treasure Town, Post Town, and obviously, you know, the Pokemon Square. But we've got this amazing piece of artwork that shows new artwork of lots of the older characters and it's put up on the official Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon website so we know it's legit and it's also got a few screenshots of the characters in dungeons. Now basically I'm just going to explain first of all who the returning characters are. Some of them you might not know if you haven't played some of the games and I'll just explain that and then we'll look at the screenshots afterwards. So first off we have Team Act. Basically if you don't know what Team Act stands for Alakazam, Charizard, Tyranitar, it's pretty simple, they're mega powerful and you know it's going to be amazing to see how we get them in the game. Next up is Armaldo and Iglybuff. Next up is Umbreon and Espeon from Gates of Infinity. If you've never played Gates of Infinity, and I haven't either, but from what I've seen, they're like Magnagate investigators and they kind of research on that, they're researchers of Magnagates. Uh, next up is like the legendary trio. Groval, Dust Noir and Celebi, I love this artwork for them, it looks really good and it's just so nice to see them again in some like new artwork. Next up we've got Butterfree and Caterpie from Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team. Caterpie is basically, I'd say he's your rescue team's number one fan and Butterfree is basically the first Pokemon you'll meet in that game. Uh, next up, Shinx and Skitty, it's kind of interesting to see past starters on there. Not sure if they're going to have any recollection of like a time before, you know, in the Explorer's Land. But I do want to point out, you don't see any other like starters, like past starters, like Cubone, Eevee. Very disappointed about the lack of Eevee in this game, but that just might be me. But anyway, moving on, we got a Mulga Verizion or Verizon. I can't, I don't really know how to pronounce that one. <laughs> and uh, Dunsparce. Now they're from Gates of Infinity as well. I'm not going to pretend like I know what they do because I haven't really seen what they've done in Gates of Infinity. I know a lot of you guys who have played it will know their you know character traits and everything. Next up is the big man himself, Wigglytuff and Chatot. It's great to see the Guildmaster again and I guess the whiny bird Chatot but it, I don't know it's just nice to see artwork of them. Next up we've got Ladrid and some Flora, same you know they're from the same game it's good to see them as well. Next up is Quagsire, Timber and Scraggy, they're all from Gates of Infinity. I'm pretty sure they're part of the Pokemon Paradise in some way. Next up, some of my favourite characters, well I say one of them anyway, Bidoof and Krogunk. I don't really remember Krogunk too much but I really like Bidoof and I, I feel like I was the only one who liked Bidoof from Explorers of Time, Darkness and Sky. Next up is a fan favourite I'd definitely have to say, Team Charm. I can't really remember him, it's been a while since I actually played that part when they are in Explorers. But you know a lot of you guys have commented in the past that you wanted to see them again. So obviously you'll be very happy to see them. And last but not least is Gengar and Ninetales, you know, from the original Blue and Red Rescue team. That's going, that's almost 10 years old that game, it's absolutely crazy how time has flown, but yeah, so what we're going to do now guys is move on to the screenshots in-game of Super Mystery Dungeon and just look at some of the past characters. So first of all, we've got Wigglytuff and Chatter. What I want to point out is, are they originals or are they just Pokemon representing the older characters? Because it could just be like recruited Pokemon and you know they could just be representing the past characters or it could actually be the original characters that we don't know of yet. Also it looks like they're in Beach Cave which is the first dungeon in Explorers but it has 12 floors this one so either Beach Cave has been expanded or this is a different dungeon and it's made to look like it's Beach Cave. Next up we can see Emolga and Dunsparce, not much to say. Next up is Team Act and this is a first screenshot without the starter and partner Pokemon. They're playing as Charizard and again is it the real Team Act or is it just like the you know the Pokemon gathered together to represent Team Act. And again we can see this in Team Charm playing as Lapony and you know with the Team Charm members but is it really Team Charm? And what I do want to point out is that they're having like discussions in a dungeon so maybe when you do bring these characters together or these Pokemon 
they will have their special dialogue inside dungeons when you talk to each other. So that's what could be activated when you bring them together. And that could show or suggest, if I could translate the text, that they're the original characters. But that's pretty much it for this video guys, so if you did enjoy it and you're happy to see these characters back, definitely hit the like button. It really helps out the video and the channel, so it would be greatly appreciated. Also if you're new to the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button on screen or down below and join the Twin 10 donation today. And if you haven't seen our two previous videos, they're going to be on screen right now. On the left hand side is how to mega evolve in Super Mystery Dungeon. And on the right hand side is how to recruit Pokemon in Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Two very informational videos that will definitely help you out if you're going to get the game. So that's all i got to say guys. I will be doing a giveaway competition for Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon tomorrow I'm pretty sure. So definitely stay tuned. And yeah guys, hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in tomorrow's video.